Hey, Ted, we used a bicycle pump in the studio earlier. Are we about to use it again to do something even cooler? Oh, yeah. We're into high power out here, uh, Shannon. <laughs> this, is, this is an extra hairspray day. As you saw, Jamie reported we had wind gusts over 40 miles per hour typically today. Despite that fact, we're going to go ahead and launch a rocket. And joining me are two students from Carver Middle School. And I'll go ahead and let you guys introduce yourself. I'm Kyle Brown. And you are? Ryan Eisenbacher. And uh, these uh, two young gentlemen are part of a science Olympiad. So they're one experiment of many that's going on uh, in the classroom. And they decide to launch rockets. Now the thing about this rocket is it uses a two, uh, actually not a two liter, it's a, what size rocket, or what size bottle does it use? It's a one liter. Okay. And, uh, and what you're going to do is attempt to use air pressure. And then what else are you going to add to the, uh, to the mix? Just to the water, right? Yeah, just the water, and, water air. and air. Okay. And then when you're done, uh, we demonstrated this in the commercial right before, you can build up a lot of pressure inside of a bottle, and then basically the water becomes the propellant, and it takes off. Okay. What did you guys, when you were uh, experimenting with this, and it was an experiment, wasn't it? What, what are some of the things that surprised you, or some of the things you didn't think you needed to do? Um, I was really surprised by how high it went, and I mean, just amazing that just a little bit of water and air pressure send it that high up. Mm -hmm. And uh, how high do you think these things have gotten by your estimation? Jeez, I don't know. <laughs> like maybe 60 feet? Uh, yeah. At least 60 feet? Yeah, yeah at least. I, I think so, based on what I saw the other day. Based on what I saw the other day, I think it's about 60 feet. Well, go ahead and do your thing. You know, we're going to put the water in the rocket using a funnel. Here we go. Was this trial trial and error too, how much to put in here? Yeah, yeah we right, guessed on every 100 milliliters. Yeah, so. Yeah. Okay. Okay. We found that uh, 300 milliliters was the best for it. Already? Okay. Right. And then you're going to put it in a launch pad here, mm -hmm. essentially, right? So go ahead and just let me, I'm just going to watch you do it. And I'll describe to you folks what's going on when it happens. This is a launch pad that they bought from a kit. And the thing about this is you want to build the pressure up, but you don't want the cork to get out of there until it absolutely has to. And they have a, a, a line attached to this with a safety so they can stand at a distance away and they can launch this um, by pulling on the cord, essentially. So what we're going to do is hook this up, and um, in a minute here, you'll see the bicycle pump that they're going to use to do this. They're putting a safety in there, putting a cord in there. Now, okay, so here we go with the bicycle pump. And they were telling me that they can get about 50 pounds per square inch in here, but because of the wind today and a little thing called Division Street over here at the studios, uh, we're not going to put quite that much in. So here we go. We're pumping it up, and uh, yeah, Lance is getting a shot, and what you'll see is air actually going into the container. You'll also notice that they put fins on the rocket. This is to give it stability, and, and they gave it a large cone, and what they want to do is get the center of gravity just right on this thing, too. So I think we're done pumping it up. Is that right? Yep. Okay, I'm going to put my safety goggles on just in case. <laughs> All right, we'll get Lance in position. Do you think everything is ready? Okay, the safety's out, and three, two, one, woo! Not too bad. <laughs> not, not too bad. <laughs> that, was, that was about the right height. I'm actually pretty amazed at that. Damn, because if you've seen nice. this go off at the, at the school, I, w I, was, I was worried about screeching brakes. But <laughs> they got the pressure right. I was worried about screeching meteorologists, if you have to know the truth. All right, Ted. That was a definite possibility as well. Yeah. Ted, thank you so much. We're going to let you stay outside and play a little bit longer with your toys. So yes. thanks to the thanks kids. Thanks to the guys, yeah.